Hey guys, I'm AJ. I'm Shanique. I'm Tazzy. So in 2018, we quit our jobs to travel the world and live a freedom lifestyle. We wanted to share our journey with you. So welcome to the family. Hey family. What's up? Welcome back to another video. Yeah, man. So today, um, I thought we'd talk about what it's like being black, being melanated and being abroad. Because another question we often get is, what is, it, what is racism like mm. in insert country? Mm. How is it being black there? Hmm. Um, yeah, are they racist? Oh, I heard that place was racist. So. Yeah, yeah well, let's talk about that, right? That can change everyone's experience, uh, one person's experience in the country. So. It can. It's, it's a difficult question. It's not a question that I like, to be honest. But it's a valid and important question because you have to feel comfortable in a place. You have to feel comfortable in a place, but what annoys me about it is how often do you hear people ask you, what's racism like in London? Or if you're going to the Very US, people don't question what your race, your, your, what your experience might be in the US I of think being black. I, people should for the US. Personally, I would never go to the US. Um, the UK is, as we know, very coverted in how they do things. They're, they're under the carpet, you know. It's more silent, but they just put things in legislation and they do things. Oh yeah, hundred percent. But the thing with America, me personally, I would never go there because they are just—they don't care for human life. Yeah, no, They're absolutely. So in front of your face, they will do this. And for me, I personally look at the countries, um, and if I've seen that same pattern in those countries. I don't necessarily want to go there. Exactly. But what I'm saying is generally people don't ask, people about, don't ask the West. about racism in Western yeah, countries. They don't and they should. Absolutely. It's and like, that's why it annoys me. It, it's, it actually is quite annoying, you it know. It is. Because it's like the West who's done the bad also to those small exactly. countries, they then programmed people to think that Oh, if you're going there, you have to start thinking about safety. You have to start thinking about exactly. racism. When you are the one who was, exactly. you fam cast so much arms out. That's what I'm talking about, and that's why I'm saying it's a huh. question uh, about asking about racism and asking about safety abroad. Actually, annoys me quite a lot because, like you said, the very countries that often caused many of the issues or you know some of the the struggles that we do see um in recovering countries are at the hands of colonizers your so-called home country yes so it's not a question that i like being asked but like you said it's valid because people will have their assumptions or may have heard certain stories from other people so we got to talk about yeah, it yeah people are programmed let's meet people where they are meet people where they are you are exactly. there and i guess if you've never traveled much um you will have certain fears yeah. and i guess it's just a natural human thing it's a fear of the unknown that's the, the beginning of it and then we trickle down to this specific area so Let's go into it. Let's deep dive into it. Which, which country did you not like? And was it a sense of racism? But are you asking if I didn't like the country because I experienced racism? That's what I'm you saying. Say I, 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 you see, you weren't even let me, fin let me finish. <laughs> did you not like that country because of racism? Which country is it that you found or you felt uneasy from, from a racist point of view? Okay. First thing I want to clarify is the definition of racism. Oh boy. Because I think what often happens when people say, did you experience racism in a country? Yeah. I don't think they actually they understand, understand the, the definition of racism. Most people don't though. Um, so let's clarify this. So What's racism? When, okay, so when someone asks me if I experienced racism, my belief is that they are asking me if I was discriminated against, if I was treated differently from other people um, with different skin tones mm. to me. Yeah, that no to me people. is... <laughs> 
it's true. No colored people. If, 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 if it's general people want to say we are colored people, which I don't agree with, so by default there are no colored people. We we I read an article earlier, an, a Mexican article, and it was talking about um, racism in a particular restaurant. A, um, uh, what do you call it? A chain restaurant here in Mexico, and they described white people as no color people. <laughs> It just tickled me a little bit. I'm good. Anyway, uh, this is what I'm using. <laughs> so if other people are melanated people are are colored people, and I mean when I say melanated people, those with a drop of melanation across the spectrum are colored people. Then those without it are no colored people. Okay. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so I wanted to clarify. So when someone asks me if I've experienced racism they are asking me if i have been discriminated against or yeah. i feel like i've been not able to access certain um, experiences because of the color of my skin mm -hmm. in that sense have i experienced racism no no in our four years four and a half years of travel i don't believe not knowingly i don't believe that i have experienced direct racism if you want to ask me if I've been seen as looked upon in a different way, maybe because of the color of my skin, then yeah, I would say we have experienced um, eyes. Curiosity, I like to call it. Well, if you go as far as Vietnam, when there, there aren't a lot of uh, representation of ourselves there, or Turkey, you're gonna get eyes, fam. Yeah, so when you asked what my worst country or country that I had probably the most intense experience, it would definitely have to be Turkey first, I would say. Um, but was whilst, that from a discrimination point of view? No, not discrimination. Well, I, said, I said racism, no. We've mm -hmm. never experienced racism okay. in all of the countries that we've been to. To be honest, my if, if you want to know my direct experience of racism, um, that was actually in Germany. I was a child. I was like 11 years old. I was on a school trip. So that was in a Western country was when I actually experienced racism. Outside of Western countries, I don't believe I have experienced racism. Um, so yeah, in the UK and Germany, I would say that I have. In non-Western countries, not at all. Not at all in our experience. Curiosity, yes. So in Turkey, people were, how, how would you describe it? They, they see God were, for the first time. Okay, so we were in Turkey for a whole month. And in that month, we didn't see. We saw one. We saw one, one person, one other melanated person. I remember. Okay, we saw one in a month. We were there for a whole month and we saw one other melanated person. So you have to bear in mind that they don't see people like that, us that's very the world. often. No, they at see all. us on TV. So exactly, they, they see you on TV in the movies. And they're like, wow, you actually exist. Right? You know, and I, I had to step back from myself and look at it from their point of view. I'm a Libra, so I do that often. So, you know, to me, I kind of started to think, what would I be like if I saw, say, one of my favorite celebrities, say, Will Smith, if Will Smith was standing in front of me right now, how would I act? What would I do? I would be shocked. I would be stunned that this person that I have only ever seen on screen is currently right in front of me. And I'm not like other people. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go touch him. I wouldn't go hug him or anything like that. But I would probably ask for a photo. I'd, I'd want to talk to him. I'd be curious. I'd want to know if he's as genuine as he seems on TV, you know? So I kind of understand to a certain extent why they act the way that they do. Yeah. And in Turkey, it wasn't necessarily us per se, but it was their treatment of Taji. Um, they wanted to talk to her, they wanted to touch her, they wanted to hold her. One woman, a waitress, actually did take her from us. Like we were sitting in the restaurant and she just reached out her hands and took her like from my hand and I was just completely stunned. I didn't know what to do, I froze. And you know, we were in the restaurant and she was working. So there wasn't like a fear that anything bad was going to happen. Um, but it was just, it's a family, did that just happen? It's a family centered country and they, and, and Turkish people don't really have any boundaries when it comes down to kids. 
they and personal space. And personal space. They just see it as oh, it's a beautiful kid, it's a lovely kid. Come here. Yeah, so she literally picked her up, took her over to some other diners uh, and started talking. Yeah. And after a while, I think I feel like I wanna say if I remember that was quite a while, that was literally almost four years ago. What did she do? Did did the other people start taking photos they of her? Wanted they take, wanted to take they wanted to take they wanted to. I saw that and I saw the the waiter at the uh, who was serving the drinks at the back started to leave his post. I'm like, oh, no 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 give my kid. So give yeah, my child. Give my child I'm like back. <laughs> Nice to meet y'all. Now give my child. No, yeah, she's not. A, she's not. A, you know, she's not here for a circus. It was strange. It was. It was the very first time that has ever happened to us. And the last. And the very. The last. very last time that was like, not going to happen again. And and the thing was that comfort comfortability, where she was a waitress and she was serving us, and there was only one other f um, uh, set of diners in the restaurant. Yeah. And it was open broad day safe environment i'm like yeah there wasn't a fear it, no, there yeah, there's no fear there but it was just the idea that yeah, you was, didn't ask and you just took, exactly. up, took my baby up and and that happened often uh where people wouldn't ask and they would just try to start they'd take out their phones and start taking photos of her yeah try reach out to touch her and the thing that i didn't like about turkey is then their reaction when you tell them no like i don't you know we don't take photos of her you're that's not okay mm. it was like they were offended mm. at the fact that we would say no to them and it's the entitlement is what annoyed me i would say i so, don't like turkey period but i feel like he doesn't like turkey because of that negative experience the country itself the country amazing beautiful the food, food oh, lovely oh, a seven. handful of people i met there that i was like cool but in mm. general i have i had just many women girls with me I found the men to, sorry, not all of you. Okay, we're not talking about, keep, keep on okay. um, track though. We're talking right, about cool. racism. Racism, I didn't feel it was from, a, it, there was the racism. I felt there was a high sense of curiosity because yeah. people didn't, they, they only saw us on TV. And if you check where Turkey is on the map, you'll see like, most of us don't really travel there really. But except from the, the main city, Antalya, um, what's it, what's it? Istanbul. Istanbul. It happens in Istanbul. I've seen videos where it's happened in Istanbul yeah, as well. Yeah, but I've never been there. But uh, we know people who's gone to, who've gone to Istanbul before and they say they have a great time. Yeah, um, but I don't, I don't think it should disrupt your experience. It was very intense. I can't it was lie. very. But maybe we took it was, a video we of it. We were there for a month though, so maybe that's why it felt so intense. That's even worse, man. No, but that's what <laughs> I'm saying. Most down people, then. No, but I'm saying most people would only go for a week or two, so you probably don't feel it so much because it starts and then you, you're gone. But being there a whole a month is a long time. It is. But yeah, so Turkey was very intense. Um, Asia, some parts of Asia, like especially, I would say, I remember one incident in particular in Thailand we were visiting uh the white pal what do you call it the white um the crystal white palace the white what's it called the white temple we were visiting a white temple mm -hmm. and it was it was stunning stunning temple and we were with some friends and their young daughter was there as well so their young daughter and taji were playing mm -hmm. and I remember some Chinese tourists, and this is the thing, and always... this often happened, apart from in Turkey, but when we spent the year in Asia in particular, whenever we had issues with people staring at always us Chinese. or trying to take photos, it was always Chinese people. It was never the, locals, the native, native people of, to the country, foreign, it was yeah. always Chinese tourists. Always there. So the girls were playing, doing their thing, and this woman, this Chinese tourist, comes out and starts to take pictures of them don't remember that i don't think you were there hmm. i think you were like you were with chris or something like you'd gone off somewhere for a moment um so i think it was just me and alicia watching the girl i, I can't remember right but um yeah she, this woman pulled out her phone and started to take pictures of the girls i snatched the woman's phone out of her hand and i deleted her photos well done <laughs> That's mine right there. That's what I'm talking I about right there. I was so angry. I was so angry. <laughs> because the thing is for me, like, ask. 
ask permission just ask first like i'm still saying no anyway yeah but at least but i understand ask. that chinese people have no understanding of personal space or the ask i've observed that they do not understand what personal space is and they do not know how to ask i can't stand that no i cannot either but you just need to understand that and just position yourself accordingly yeah but it is what it is it is so what it is. We, we're kind of used to it now but i would say generally pretty much in every country we get stairs pretty much even, even here in, in even mexico, mexico yeah even, even in, in mexico. mexico and you can, we do get people asking for photos yeah, of course as well then again our babies are, are very gorgeous we make beautiful we make babies right. amal we is getting a crazy amount of attention yeah. at the moment um so yeah we we get a lot of attention and i do think it's because we're melanated mm -hmm. um but i don't i rarely rarely can feel it. that it's malicious yeah you can really i can i can source it easily i don't i don't feel that i've ever received especially in mexico like a look someone looking at me and i feel as though they have been malicious yeah or their intent is malicious yeah. no what, exactly. what, what i have experienced here um is the taxi driver what well, taxi drivers are special people in every country i've if you look at mm. worse experiences taxi drivers come under that category maybe at number one across countries across, across all every countries. country <laughs> even beautiful places like bali was just amazing here what i found is that sometimes taxi drivers will drive past you to go and pick up somebody else maybe maybe like a it's mexican. a mexican person or it's a no color person hmm. i've seen that before i've experienced that before and but i think it's a taxi driver thing rather than a discrimination thing because no color people tend to always want to play over the odds for things whilst we are pretty you know we want frugal. to pay the correct we, rate we play we're living here so we want to pay the correct rate and they they don't really want that they want to make to as make, much money go as one possible. journey and be making like a half a day of, of their their salary right so, so i think that's really what's going on but that's yeah. all i've experienced to be honest. yeah I'm, yeah that's happened a few times yeah, where few we've times. been driven past like yeah. taxi drivers have driven past to go and be to looking at you else. like this <laughs> literally stare right in your face nice. Mom, why are you looking at me yeah but apart from that oh. we haven't can't really say that I'm we've still experienced here, exactly we wouldn't be if it was that bad <laughs> we I'll would have out. left already i'll be out um the other thing that i just don't like is when people try to touch taji's hair oh what well, she got um, that snap back Bam, yeah though. now now she does now yeah she does. she's old enough to to defend herself and to um to protect her space herself yeah um, what i don't like about it is them i don't know where your hands have been exactly you could in, be wiping in these your pandemic ass. days i know people nasty already <laughs> that's what i say already ass, in, in these pandemic exactly. days Bam, I've like, seen yeah. some people leave that toilets that before. Actually ha I was going to say, that actually happened. When we were in... Um, it didn't happen to us. Well, we were there. But um, when we were in Spain, Sylvia and I took the girls to the toilets once. And, and one woman came out of the toilet and she did not wash her hands. I think we were, like, standing by the mirror, just, you know, getting the girls ready. And she came out of the toilet, did not wash her hair, and then put her hands in Aria's hair. Where's Capleton? The fire yeah. that would be going on right there. Oh, it was oh, like, yeah. oh, my God. Oh, that just happened. Yeah. Yeah. No, seriously, I'm like, no, oh, no. come on. Yeah. And they live there, they're Spanish. Yeah. Like Aria's Aria's mixed. That's um AJ's brother's That's one of his brother's daughters. Nah fam. Yeah. Yeah, y'all need to wash your hands, man. Like I I can't stand that because I'm like Disgusting. I do not know where your hands have been. Do not touch. Why do you think it's okay to touch someone's hair? Anyway, I don't want this video to go on too long, people. I'm just but, trying to keep But yeah, you know, the thing is though, I do know people that will say they have experienced racism and it's mm. difficult because I don't ever want to um make out that someone's experience it's is not family. valid exactly. i can't say that all we can do is talk from our we own family, experience and this is from a family's point of view yeah that is very important, important to know if yeah. you're a single person or if you're just a couple 
could I don't be a know totally how you could different be a very positive. Exactly. We could go in the same place and you experience something different. Exactly. Compared to what I, People what are bolder, I think, when, you know, say if it's a single woman mm. traveling, they might be a, bo a bit bolder about a, um, approaching mm. that person compared to a family, you know? So we can't, we can't say generally this is what the experience is like we can only talk from our experiences and in our experience have we ever exper experienced racism abroad thankfully no. No. so basically if you have a family it's easier for you <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe so yeah um that's that's all we can say that's in our and we've only been to a limited amount of countries yeah, as well only 14. so let's see how our exper experiences go as we continue to travel around the world but yeah, that's about it, I think. That's about it. Mm -hmm. Take care, guys. Peace. Bye.